But apart from that, you know what I've been doing? I've been listening to the Beyonce album. Beyonce album. I've been listening to it, right? And I have i don't know what my feelings are about it, but I'm siding towards the side of like... So, Beyonce Cowboy Carter. My initial feelings behind it were, hmm, sounds very expensive. Sounds very well produced. Um, obviously, it's telling a story. And the story that I'm kind of getting from it is essentially Beyonce returning back to her roots. Beyonce uplifting and telling the story of her family while also telling her version of the American story and kind of using the the kind of the window, using the vessel of country music to display how similar we all are despite our differences, race, whatever, you know, not our, but, you know, American people's differences. So I've been trying to say, hey, even though country music is traditionally seen as like a white person's genre, it has roots in black music, but it doesn't mean it's a black person's thing. It just means that we've all been doing it since the beginning of time. We've all been telling stories through songs, through hymns, through prayers, through affirmations. That's how we're doing it. So she's basically trying to tell her story, her family story, um, the history of black people in America while also trying to like rewrite the narrative around country music and also around genres because there's a little skit in the album where it's like oh um, music should be genreless there should be no genres in music which I think is super dumb genres exist for a reason because some people love it's like genres in fucking movies the idea that you should have genres in music is idiotic for me personally I think like for some reason even though I could count myself as a music. <laughs> I wouldn't really count myself as a musician, even though I have DJ. I don't really think that counts. I think to count yourself as a musician, you have to actually create music. And I haven't really created any music yet. So I think the moment you create music, you count yourself as a musician. But I play out people's music. But I listen to a lot of music anyway. And I've listened to a lot of musicians speak. And they have this thing where they really don't like when people try to pigeonhole them or try to tell them what their sound is. Every musician thinks that they're really unique and they're creating their own sound. But really and truly, they usually create, they usually come in, you know, they're usually following the steps, footsteps of giants. They're usually trying to emulate one of their heroes. So their heroes set like a template, set a tone, set like a theme, sonically, whatever it may be, stylistically. And they're trying to follow in that kind of footstep. So there is a genre that you're kind of following. Maybe you're kind of skewing and you're kind of twisting it and warping it to fit your, you know, your vision. But there is a genre there that you're kind of following. So the idea that genres don't exist, I think is a little bit insulting to our intelligence, I think as fans. And also doesn't do, it does a disservice to the genre that you're obviously following the footsteps of. Because it doesn't help to push your elevator because you're like, oh no, I'm not there, I'm on my own. I'm not hip hop, I'm here. I'm not R&B, I'm over there. So no, no, no. Help to elevate them sound by bringing your own version of it so people can be like oh shit look at all these different versions of, of hip hop it's like do you remember when Tyler, you remember when Odd Future came around what I loved about Odd Future when they came around wasn't that you know obviously supremely talented but the thing I loved about Odd Future is that they brought a different type of sound to what we were listening like at that time it was all kind of you know I won't say formulaic but it was pretty you know kind of easy to follow but t Odd Future came around Tyler the Creator L Sweatshirt all these guys and they were presenting hip hop in like a different prism, a different sort of lens. You're looking at, oh, like, oh shit, hip hop could also be this. Hip hop could also have these influences, this stylistically. Videos could look like this. Um, cadences could be like this. Rhyming patterns could be like this. All those things are super, 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 super important. And I just wish more of these artists would kind of like embrace that, but they don't want to. And I don't really know why. Regardless, going back to Beyonce Cowboy Carter. The reason why I really enjoyed it, the reason why I really enjoyed it for me personally, was that I felt as if like, it was almost, I won't say an awakening, was it an awakening? Would you call it an awakening? Kind of an awakening. It almost kind of felt like a reminder of like that country, that, that, that soul in country music, because obviously you don't get it a lot with the, the white version of country is a little bit different to what you would, you know, whatever, right? But that soul, it kind of felt vintage. It kind of felt old school. And that was what I really loved about it. And to be fair to the album, it's very broad. It covers a huge spectrum of different sounds from, I'd say like poppy, disco-y stuff, R&B. It's all over the place. Honestly, it's all over the place. It's really interesting, weird album because it's like, what, 27 tracks long. And I honestly didn't get bored once. It's definitely like a musical journey. It tells a good story. So I was very, very much entertained by it. So... As much as I was on the fence about it, I really like it. There's another part of me that's like, 
is Beyonce like the black t- Taylor Swift? That's what. That's the other thing that's nagging in my back of my head. Like, is Beyonce the black Taylor Swift? Is she just like at a level of like I won't say perfection, but maybe simplicity, norminess. I don't know. There's something. Whenever I listen to Destiny's Child, I'm remem- I'm reminded of the like attitude, the edge, the sof- not even sophistication. Just uh, there was there was some there was some kind of oomph with Destiny's Child were around. Nowadays. With Beyonce, it kind of feels a bit, I won't say lackadaisical, but it doesn't, it just doesn't give you that oomph that Beyonce used to give you when she was in, you know what I mean? That's the only thing I don't really love about it. That's a, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on there. Whether it's my ears, I'm not getting to attuned to what she's putting out now, whether or not it's the sound, it's not really, you know, what I want. I don't know. There's something there. I don't know how to describe it, but there's something missing. But apart from that, I loved it. My favorite song on the album it's definitely river dance, right? Bounce on the no hand, bounce on the dick dun, 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 dun. Like that song is absolutely banging. It's like what track twenty three on the whole album. River dance might be my favorite song. It's absolutely what a slapper. Dance, 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 dance. Bounce on the shit, dance. Bounce on the shit, dance. Like that is running through the river with you. Uh, that that song is absolutely banging. But um, yeah, big up uh, Beyonce. I guess. Check it out if you want to, I guess. You're not really missing out on anything if you don't. That's the thing with this. That's the thing I feel like with music nowadays. Apart from certain artists, you're not really missing out on anything. Like, you could take my review, listen to it if you want to or not, but you're not really missing out on listening to it anymore. It's not really like, oh, you have to stop everything to listen to this album type of thing. It doesn't really exist too much. Maybe we'll get that with, with Playboy Kai when he eventually drops. I don't really know, but music doesn't really have that kind of like, anymore. You know, it's a little bit like, eh, you could want it. If you want it, you could have it. If you don't want it, don't have it. It's kind of a bit wishy-washy. So that's a little bit disappointing. That is a little bit disappointing. But hey, what can you do? What can one do?